everyone, my name is Zo, and finally, I got my headhunter. And not only that I got my headhunter, I got it in a way that a lot of you I'm pretty sure can do it with a bit of magic find and in yellow maps, in cemeteries, a tier 7 map. Now I did not come up with this idea, Gorata did, which is a fellow Path of Exile streamer and he shared it with everyone and I was watching his stream like before he even shared it and I was amazed that he can drop so many tier 0 uniques in a yellow map. So what did I do? Well, I kind of picked up on his strategy and, you know, uh, added it, my twist on it and I started mapping. And whenever the link mechanic gives you enough wisps and especially whenever you can get a, the trifecta with like 2k blue, 2k yellow, 2k purple, you're set for success. You're gonna drop so much loot in those maps. It's actually crazy. All right, so my take on his like Atlas passive tree is this one. I love Alva, so I implemented Alva. I play in trade league, so I have no issues with uh, sextants. So that is, I am running uh, Hunter Traitors, Abyss, Alva, and Mysterious Harbinger sextants over here. Now this is the cheap version. You can go a lot more expensive with adding a Legion and the Delirium sextant. But, you know, I was farming for my Headhunter, so I was kind of cheap. I was not that cheap that I was not running Gilded Abyss Scarabs or something, because as you can, as you will see over here, I am actually running Triple Gilded and the Polish Legion Scarab. But I did not want to invest also in Delirium and uh, Legion as a, as a sextant. So that is why I was running these. Alva later on. I'm going to get them as a, a map device craft. So hopefully I'll be able to drop those sextants and get something better instead. Okay, so now that you know what I add to the maps, let me show you how we roll the maps. Because I, <laughs> I saw people asking one device for plus two brush maps, and I don't think they are worth it. So, yeah, you get three cemetery maps. Now, how are we going to drop the maps? That's pretty easy. After we open the map, we remove three voice tones from it. And look, cemetery over here is tier 7. So it's that easy. It's a bit of uh, micromanagement, but that is fine. Okay, so how we roll the maps? Well, we make the yellow, we sextant the map, we make the rare. We type in proj and we start chaosing them up until we get a proj to oh, like this one. We check there's no other like a roll that is bad for us and we start exalted until we can and we just maxed because these maps can roll only six modifiers. That is it. Monster pack size 30 pretty pretty easy you don't need to pay divines for <laughs> such maps on trade lead it's not worth it now rolling projects is not easy but after you have a bunch of maps you will be able to roll them pretty quickly okay now that that is out of the way let's uh yeah let's go and roll this map so we can talk more about the link mechanic and stuff. From the map with that device we add beyond. We cannot add any Eater of Worlds because it's only tier 7. We can, uh, we, we, we sh could add another Master Mission if we want to. But I'm going to just wait for Alva. I will not add anything else. And let's open the map. Hopefully the servers are good enough. 
we will see let's go into the league mechanic now straight away sadly we don't see any wisp wisp trail but we can only go one way and yeah we start seeing purples and we got to unfortunately the vendor but that's fine there are a few purple over there there's like a purple tray here yeah. we know that back is not kind of not worth it to go back because well, they might be blue because they were blue and blue maps up there but let's check out this way now the goal as i was saying is to get the trifecta like purple blue and yellow wisps most of the maps you will not be able to but let's see if this is a lucky one now i found a blue trail which is amazing because now i have also a blue and a purple with combination i see some yellow over there which is kind of cool like yeah you want to fight these events these events give a bunch of juice as you guys can see from a bit of trail and this event i got 2.5k blue juice let's see if up here we should be able to find some yellows because I see yellows popping up what is this with it was a reveal one Ooh, I see I some yellows over there that is cool let's check it out watch for these monsters because they try to kill you do we see any more yellows yellows would be cool together a bit purple i see only blues i don't want more blues at the moment so maybe check back at the beginning we had purple yeah let's find some more purples all right all right where were some more purples no not here let's go all the way back to the beginning oh, i saw a purple huh? okay yeah this is the beginning and uh, let's see anything here no unfortunately you gotta take your time with your affliction with your lee mechanic like don't think that running back is a waste of time because it is not the juice that the league mechanic gives is is well, as important as the scarabs and everything else you put in the map well unfortunately the wish trail got cold but we did get a bit of a bit of purple together with blues now i could go back again and try to pick up all the leftover juice but for the sake of this video I will not it is not a waste of time if you think you left a lot of juice behind go back and take it ah, we come back and now we need to start killing the monsters there's so many red monsters rare monsters in this map that a headhunter is going to do wonders over here of course I tried it out after I got it did a map with it and i was like okay this is a whole different story but now for the sake of this video of course i don't have my headhunter on me but i want to show you guys how i was kind of like doing everything uh -huh. just show you how this build feels and there's the first big court currency drop in an exalted door all right let's let's follow this abyss over here and hopefully we will see the spire we should and i just need to get out of time so after you follow the abyss a couple of times a spire spawns when you see the spire you need to get out 
and don't let your midi juncture or whatever else and dots you have on the ground don't kill, don't let kill the spire oh there's the spire let's get out and look at this beauty look at how many hits it opened and now is where the fun begins now is where we have a trillion rare monsters to kill and this is why abyss with extra projectiles on map is insane and let's throw a couple shots over there because after yeah after we damage it to another to like i don't know 60 50 percent it spawns even more monsters oh yeah this <laughs> oh that's a reliquary key fog yeah and soon we will kill the spire first we still have monsters to kill so that's nice <laughs> this is why this plus two proj with purple juice in this league mechanic is so nuts is so insane and this is only one of this now i killed it because you know we want to continue with the map but yeah look at this amount of drops it, it's nuts i'm not gonna loot it just yet let's continue let's find another one for you guys or let's kill a harpy yeah, we have so many rares like in all the league mechanics, in Alva, in everything. That is insane. I started farming for my headhunter in burial chambers. I did quite a lot of the maps. I I made my t character even tankier. I everything. That endgame boss was killing me. I made a lot of money over there too. That is for sure. But nothing compares to what can happen over here in this one. Oh, there's the other abyss. So let me show you guys again. If you think that we're missing out, by the way, if you think that we're missing out on the doctor card, well, I did not get any. I'm not exactly sure how many maps I did, but I did not get any. And that is why I decided not to add like the divination card scarab on this map. I know we have the brother stash and all, but I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, not like I dropped any in all these maps. I managed to drop the three exalt one, like three of them, but the divine one, none of them. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, there's the spire. Let it cook. He cooked a bunch of holes over here. Oh yeah, we have stuff to do now. Close the filter and kill monsters. <laughs> and this, this is nuts. And yeah, if you didn't have enough holes, well, knife now for sure you do. And now we have even more holes. Oh, I want my zing though, so you guys can see that we can zing in this from these holes. <laughs> I managed to get a spire too. 
earlier. My first to zero in these maps. But uh, yeah, seeing Gorata do this and the fact that today I think he got a headhunter in the first map he ran <laughs> was pretty fun. Fun to see. Alright, I'll finish the map after. Again, this is the Atlas over here. For Scaros, we had Harpy, Reliquary, Abyss, Legion. For Sextants, we had Abyss, uh, Harbinger, Alva, and Hunter Traitors. If you invest, so if you invest, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 chaos in your maps, you will have your Headhunter in. I'm sure under 50 maps. I, I don't, I had mine in 66, but I did not all, like, not all of them were cemetery. A lot of them were also burial chambers. But yeah, this strat, this strat beats burial chambers. So go out there and do it, guys. Just add a bit of magic find on your characters. It doesn't need to be a lot. Add two Ventors if you can. Add a gold wear. If you can add Petri Blood to your character and you can add a Divination Distiller too, it's just that easy. So go out there and do it because this league is like no other. And I don't know if <laughs> if we will have another one like this one. I think this is a GGG's Christmas present for us. So go enjoy yourselves. That being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. It does mean a lot. Keep walking, Exiles. The next map awaits you.